Hi guys, welcome back to my 2 minutes tip video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to attach your documents on Gmail app on iPhone and iPad. This is my third video talking about this attachment feature. But it seems like from time to time, the Gmail app keeps being updated. The drawback of my first two videos is the ability to send the attachment as a response to somebody's email. For example, if someone sends you an email asking you to send them back a file, you can do it. What you can do is to create a new email in order to send the attachment to that person. My first video was to send a document from the file app, the built-in app on the iOS. So what you have to do is just to open the file and find the document that you want to send to somebody and open it with the Gmail app. And then the file is attached on the Gmail app. And my second video was to make use of the built-in mail app on the iOS. But now the Gmail app has been integrated with this feature, which my other two videos are outdated. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is my Gmail widget and let's start composing. So I tap on compose. Yeah, choose the person that you want to send to. So for example, I choose one of this. Look at the attachment icon on the top, tap on it. And as you can see, what is new here is the attachments feature, as I mentioned earlier. Before this feature was not included. So now it's here. So tap on the attachment and now you can see this is actually the file which is exactly the same if i open the file app you can see that this is exactly the same yeah, all the photos of the files are stored in this so if you want to send any attachment or any documents make sure that you save those files onto this file app or this file manager so if you look at my download folder i have lots of files here so now let's get back to the gmail so Go to downloads so I can attach the file from here. So tap on it. As you can see, the files is right there. As I mentioned, the drawback of my other two videos is the ability to uh, respond back to somebody with the attachment. So now let me try uh, open this uh, email. This is from relief or whatever. Now I press reply. And then what I can do now is to add the file and send the document back tap on the attachment now I can tap on attachment feature and then I can add the files that I want to send back to anyone I want to so tap on it so the file is attached over there as you can see tap on the file one more the attachment tap on it now the second file is added you can see that before as I mentioned you couldn't do this but now the feature is here one more trick that I would like to show you as well in this video is to send the image as attachment for example if I tap on attach uh, icon the photo here you can see I have got lots of photo I can tap on all photo if I want to open so that's easy for me to scroll and check or browse the photos that I want to attach tap on the photo can see that the photo is quite big it's about the size of the screen of my phone this is actually sent as a photo so what if I want to send this photo as attachment so that uh, the files is smaller than this the trick is just tap on the picture now you can see the word sent as attachment so on that there we go so the file is down there so it's easy for you to start writing your email if you want to send this image back bigger or as photo just tap on it and now you can choose send in line boom it's bigger but as I mentioned it's quite difficult if you want to uh, start writing it's quite complicated and annoying because it's there it's very big it's quite big so just tap on it and send as attachment so it's smaller okay Okay, so that pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment down below. And I hope to see you guys in the next videos. 
If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider doing so because there are more and more useful videos for you guys in the future. And I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Thanks.